because I am the environment and we are the environment and every breath we take we breathe in the world and it goes into our bodies it translates to your health the way you live has an impact on your community your family you know obviously and so I mean it's all connected It's about working with nature. And, you know, that's philosophically a big part of, you know, what, what Integration Acres tries to do. And when you work with nature, I mean, nature's a very powerful force. I think the biggest challenge for like small sustainable farms is the markets. We've lost the cultural component of our communities with farming, you know, with all those farms going away and then, you know, there's just like, the food just shows up on a truck and they don't, people don't know where it's coming from and they don't, they don't realize the impact of their purchasing. If you're not consciously paying attention to, you know, the details of these food producers, you may be supporting things that you don't maybe want to be supporting. What we've done with Integration Acres is we've focused on what we've got. And we've got these incredible native plants. We've got the, some of the best pawpaws in the whole world. We grow pawpaws here, but we also buy pawpaws from people. So there's people that have pawpaws on their property and I buy them from them every year. We've been able to export those things. So we, we create wealth in our community out of something that was just basically sitting there doing nothing. Typical agriculture is just like, you know, maybe dump chemicals on there and, and extract as much as you can. And, and I think with the, with the sustainable agricultural system, it's, it's more of a longer term. Maybe your yields are a little less, but, you know, I think long term they're going to be more like maybe resilient and reliable. Every time you purchase food, you're having an impact.